Oh my goodness, the lighting is terrible and I can't, can I fix it? Don't work either. That'll be it. Um, hi guys, it's Adam and welcome back to my channel and I don't really do much on this channel. Sometimes I post a singing video, but most of the time I don't. So I was like, you know what, what the heck, let's do something. So today I'm going to be showing you my Lush haul. Um, for those of you who don't know what Lush is, get out from under the rock you're living under. Just kidding, I'll explain it to you. Lush, Lush Fresh Handmade Cosmetics. They make bath bombs, they make bubble bars, lotions, um, they make like tooth cleaning products, they make facial stuff, they make everything you could possibly need. It's amazing. And I love Lush. The issue is where I live in Iowa, um, they do have a couple Lushes. I know they have at least one, but the problem is it's two and a half hours away from where I live and I don't want to make that drive, especially considering I can't drive myself and I don't want to ask someone to take me all the way out of town just to go to Lush. But since I'm in New Jersey right now, I went to the Rockaway Mall and I know they have a Lush there, so I was like, I'm going to Lush. And lo and behold, I get there for two things. I wanted a world's smallest disco bath bomb and a Starlight Star Bright luxury bath melt. And I, I've wanted those for a while. They didn't have the world's smallest disco bath bomb, so I'm gonna have to check every corner of the internet to see if someone's reselling one. There's a website I can usually go to to find them, and I forgot the name of it. But I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to get one and order it, and then I'm gonna be done shopping because I spent so much money. I spent about 140 bucks at Lush, but hear me out. They were having a sale. This is the only sale they ever have, and I didn't even know they were having it because I didn't even know Lush did sales. But I came in and they had a sale. All of their like limited edition Christmas items, and then there were even a couple of non non Christmassy items that were buy one get one. So I was like, oh yeah, I'm doing this. So I got bath bombs, I got shower jellies, I got a face and body mask, I got luxury bath melts, I got bubble runes, and I'm gonna show you all of them. So here we go. Also, I just wanted to point out, this is how long my receipt was. It was this long. And not only that, but that's not everything I bought because after my initial trip to the store, I went and I got another one. <laughs> I got another thing, so. Let me just pull some things out of my bag and show you. So, this is called, this is a bath bomb called Metamorphosis. They've had these for quite a while, actually. I love the texture. And they're made with black pepper oil. Oh, it smells heavenly. It's got like a spicy, spicy smell to it. Um, it's a bath bomb. Uh, they sell for $8.95, but I got two of them because it was buy one, get one. And they smell like, they're kind of like a gray color with a, with some um, of Lush's plastic free glitter. And then the inside of them is like, is like really bright colored. And I know that because my friend actually had one and she said it kind of stayed in the inside of her tub. So we'll see how that goes. Um, another thing I got were these, they're called Putty Holly and they're, um, bubble runes, like macaroons, although these are actually shaped like macarons, not macaroons, but let's not get into that terminology right now. Um, I'm talking way too fast. Um, they're a Christmassy kind of thing. I can't really put my finger on what the smell is, but they're green with like the classic white filling to look like buttercream. And then they're covered in this metallic silver luster. And then they've got this, um, it looks like a holly and like mistletoe on top of it. And that was a buy one, get one, so I got two of those. And they're like bubble bars. So you put them, so when they're um when you're running the water for your bath, you literally just you put them under the um under the faucet and just let it run and it and it creates bubbles. So it's like a it's like bubble bath, like bubble soap, but without all the plastic packaging and it's just solid. So it's really nice because these we can recycle, these plastic sorry these paper bags and then all the soap for bubble baths is like packageless it's pretty amazing actually i love it um so moving on i got let me look at the receipt to remember what these are um yognog it's called yognog yule log 
um, bubble bar. So it's like a bubble rune, but it's um, but it's just a bar. You can see it's like white and kind of like a yellowish tan color. They smell like almond bark and like almond butter and kind of like, like I can't put my finger, they kind of smell like, like Christmas cookies, like sugar cookies, like oatmeal kind of like oatmeal and sugar cookies and like buttercream. They've just got a lot of like really nice like scents to them. They're kind of moisturizing to be honest. Like you don't even have to put them under water. Like even if I just touch them, um, they kind of like leave some like silky smooth texture to my hand. So I love them for that. And I cannot wait to use those because they're big. So I think I'm gonna be able to get quite a few baths out of those. Um, so this was not a Christmas item. This is just something that I saw and I wanted it. So I got it because there was only one of these left at the mall that I went to when I went to Lush. So this is a this is a bath bomb. <laughs> it's called Sex Bomb. <laughs> but um, mm. they are seven ninety five each. I'm sorry, I haven't been telling you guys like the prices for them each. The uh, Yognog um, bubble bars are six ninety five each. Putty Holly is seven ninety five. Um, let's see. Did I show you guys anything else? No, that's it. So um, it's got a rice paper rose in the middle, and it's just really sweet rose scented it's purple on the top and pink on the bottom and i've seen these before and i've never really had any interest in getting one but something just told me i should get one because it was the only one at that at that store so i was like i'm gonna get one um so the other another uh bath bomb i got it's called a jelly bomb This was buy one, get one, and I thought these were Halloween, so I wasn't sure why they had these, but they had ectoplasm. Um, they also had the shower the shower cream called ectoplasm, which is like bright green, like highlighter yellow, but they also had the bath bomb, and the top of this is supposed to have like a little like, um, like a circle thing, but it looks like a ghost, but none of them actually had these. These break apart so much. Like the other one, here, let me show you. These are so fragile. The other one that I had, this is what happened to it. Like, so I'm not too pleased about those just because they're so crumbly and I don't know if it's just this batch since they're handmade, you know, some of them turn out better than others. But all of them in that store, they weren't very, they weren't very good. And I don't particularly care for the scent. It was more the discount that I bought these for. So I'll probably end up giving one of these away. Um, I'm not really a huge fan. I might give one to my friend Adele, which, She's actually, I, I made a joke and said, hey, let's do a, I'm gonna do a Lush haul video. And she's like, you should do it. So I'll probably just give this to her. Um, what's up if you're watching Adele, Illy. Um, so they, these are soaps. These are like a bar of soap. And these were Christmas, buy one, get one. And the, the name of this is like three sentences long. Something about polar bears leaving the tap on or the faucet on for like the northern lights and letting it run for whatever. That's literally the name of the soap. And I actually got this on my second trip to Lush. I went the first time and then I had to show my friend the store and I ended up buying more things because I have no self-control. So they come in two forms. There's a red, orange, and yellow, and then there's a green, yellow, green, and blue. And I got one of each. But if you order them online and you only order one, it's a surprise which one you get. And I don't even know if they still have these in stock online. Because like I said, almost everything is gone. Um, These ones, I don't want to take out of the bag since they're so, they're so messy, but I'll show you the inside. That Starlight Starbright, it's a luxury bath melt. So it's a bath oil and a bath bomb combined together. So you use it like a bath bomb, but it leaves, but it's like, makes your like bath moisturizing to you more so than a regular bath bomb because it's made with bath oils. It's covered in silver luster, so like silver glittery stuff. Um which is why I don't want to touch it because it'll get all over it and I don't want my hands to be all sparkly. Oh, too late. I touched the outside of the bag and that was enough to do it. So, whoops. Okay. Um, let's see. Show you guys next. Oh, these are really nice. So, those of you who are Lushies, I'm sure will um, will know what I'm talking about if I, if I like say bubble spinners. 
literally fidget they they're bubble bars that are shaped like fidget spinners well lush was like okay let's get back at it again with the bubble spinners and they made snowflake i believe is what this called is what what this is called yeah it's called bu uh, snowflake bubble spinner it smells like jasmine and i'm in love with it so it's literally it spins but anyways you put it under the faucet and like the water will make it spin and it creates bubbles just like a bubble bubble bar and you don't even have to use the entire thing in one bath. You just run it for however many bubbles you want. And then once you're satisfied, take it out, let it dry, and then you can put it back in its bag. Um, next up, I got another soap, and it's called Golden Pear. And it smells absolutely amazing. And it's shaped like a pear, like a split in the middle, like as you can see, almost like a bubble rune is what it looks like. But it's so beautiful. It's even got like a little stem. It looks just like a pear. And I absolutely love it. It smells amazing. These were buy one, get one for $8.95 each. It was awesome. I'm so happy for that. Um, we got one more bath bomb. And then I got, and then I have a couple of like, little things in pots that I gotta show you. This is the Guardian of the Forest bath bomb. And I thought they were done selling these. I thought these were a limited edition thing. So when I found out they weren't, I went ahead and bought one. And they smell amazing. They smell earthy. They smell not too sweet. They smell like a flower. Like they smell like like little woodland flowers and like the woods. And I sm it smells grassy and just earthy. And oh god, it's amazing. I love the way it smells, and I love the look of it. So I can't wait to use it. Although I'm gonna have to wait for a while because we don't have a tub right now. So I'm just saving up a collection for a while. Okay, so I've got two more things to show you. I've got these, and I've got this. And which one should we start with? Eh, I'll save this one for last, because I've been waiting to get my hands on one for a while, and I didn't even know these were a thing until I stepped into Lush. I sound like such a bad Lushy. I should have known already. But I have one of their shower gels, or shower jellies, called Woosh, and it's just a blue, it looks like a jello thing, and it's shaped like the pot it comes in. These, however, I saw this and I couldn't resist. Um, Butterbear is a bath bomb that I've never used, um, but I've heard is kind of nice and it's just like really moisturizing because it's made with like a lot of like butters and stuff. However, they made it into a shower jelly and these are adorable. I got one because it was buy one, get one free. Look at this. It's literally a, like a little jelly bear and it's a soap. You can freeze it if you want to use this in the summer and it's really soothing I've heard and it like feels really good on your skin when it's like cold but I've never actually tried that but the Lush employees recommend it so um anyways it just smells it smells like cocoa butter is what it smells like and it's just it moisturizes my hands too like I don't even have to put this like in the water or anything and I got two of them because it was buy one get one free love BOGO sales they're amazing um, and I'm definitely gonna enjoy this. I love shower jellies. They're a little weird to use, <laughs> but all in all, they're pretty cool. So the last thing I got, and I've been waiting to get one of these for a while, and I finally decided to get one, Cup O' Coffee Face and Body Mask. I have been waiting for these for a while. They're coffee, it's like fresh ground coffee and agave, and I love it so much. It smells like a pot of coffee. Literally, it smells like a bag of coffee beans. And you put it on your face, you put it on your skin, and it's exfoliating. The, the coffee beans, the ground up coffee beans are like an exfoliator. You just rub it on your skin and then you wash it off and it leaves you feeling so smooth and so soft. So I'm gonna make another Lush video when all my packages come because I ordered two more things from Lush, two more packages from Lush, and I'm gonna show you my other things when they get here. So stay tuned for the next part of this Lush haul, but this is everything that I bought. Uh, while I was at the store and then there were a couple things that I didn't quite get yet just because they didn't have them So I'm waiting on a couple things That I'm gonna show you guys and then if you want I'll be making demos of me using the products So just leave a thumbs up like comment subscribe to this channel. I post singing videos. I post these lush videos Well, I'm gonna start and I've got a lot of things to show you guys. So Thanks for watching. Bye